Hello everybody, how you doing out there? You all good? Today, I thought I'd compare, well, I'd tell you about the fundamental differences between these two stoves. This is a Trangia 25, um, made in Sweden. This is a Rubin's Cookery King, made in China. There's um, some fundamental differences between the two. However, they are quite similar in many ways. Now, Trangia 25 is the large one. There's a Trangia 27, which is a bit smaller. And this kind of sits in between size-wise, the Trangia 27 and the Trangia 25. Okay, although there's not that much difference, believe it or not, between the two. I'll get on to that in a minute. Size-wise, you can see this has got a far wider footprint however height wise they're pretty much the same i'm not going to bang on too much about the materials and that many of you watching this will go oh trangia they make loads of different options you can buy the hard hand eyes like this for the pots and pans you can get fully hard hand eyes you can get non-stick etc etc whatever choice you decide that's entirely up to you. I'm just merely going to compare the differences between the two. So if you're in the market for one of these, you can then decide which one would be right for you. Immediately, you can see this has got a bag. Trangia doesn't come up with a bag. Is it the end of the world? No. Next, we move on to the straps. Both do the same job. But there's a bit of a difference between the two. You can immediately see from that Trangia made of metal. The other one is made of plastic. So in my mind's eye anyway, the one which would last longest is the Trangia. And I think that's pretty much a general theme that the Trangia is better quality. However, it's more expensive. There's an obvious difference to the two that you can spot. The Trangia, the frying pan's on the outside. This does come with a frying pan. However, it's actually inside and it's smaller. There you go. You can see the difference in size between the two. Something to bear in mind. If you was cooking for more people, or you're like me, you're just a bit of a pig and you like a massive breakfast. Something to be aware of with the two. That's why that one packs inside. And that one packs over the top. By the way, on the Chinese copy, this is non-stick. Going to move on to lids next. This one comes as standard. I bought this as an add-on for me changer. I like a lid. Um, I think it's very good that this comes as standard because it's very good. It'll save you a ton of heating. So you save you a ton of fuel just simply by putting a lid on top like a little hat. It reduces your boil times helps keep things hot so same again these pretty much are identical in terms of size and footprint inside they both have a burner an alcohol burner and a handle the only difference is being the alcohol burner for the Chinese one, has got, for the simmering, it's got an additional bit on there, which actually I quite like. That's a bit of a bonus. And if you ever use the Trangia and you're using the simmering, once it gets hot, it expands and it becomes difficult to move about. So having the bonus 
on there of this extra piece. That kind of helps. Apart from that, they're identical in terms of size, capacity, I guess. It's no difference really. Handles. Trange is far more slender. It's non fussy, it just is what it is. The finish is better. You've got a nice rounded over rivet on each side, or it's been looks like a rivet, you know, they compressed it down. This one, you got like the rivet on one side and it's just uh, crushed on the other. Not sure how well you can see that. But it does the job. Trangy is a little bit narrower. And the only other difference would be that um, this has got some little plastic stoppers. Two there. And two on the other part of the handle which I'm not a great fan of. They tend to burn, wear off, get lost. So you end up with a bare metal anyway, so. But it is what it is. Moving on to the pots. They are both very similar in size, as in the Chinese version and the Trangier. I think there's only a hundred mil difference in it. I'll double check how I shall put the size of the pots up. So, that's 1.5 litres, it says on there, and I think this is 1.75. There's very little difference between the two. They, for all intensive purposes, they pretty much look identical. Same height, same width. Just in case you was wondering, Fully interchangeable. This one's slightly higher by a couple of mil, but there's hardly anything in it. Moving on to the windshield. Trangia, two pieces. Turn it up, you slot it on. Push your pot stands down, you're good to go. This on the other hand, slightly different. By the way, you get a cutting board with this as well as part of the kit. On this one, you, you have four pieces. You got the lower upper part of the windshield as normal. So the lower goes down and the upper goes on. You also have two additional pieces. Now the first is this plate. That sits inside of there. And your alcohol burner goes in there. The advantage of this is that if you want to take this out and you have some other type of burner, some alcohol stove or even a gas stove, you can put it there if it's one of the low ones. And so that's a quite a good feature. I'll show you. This is a Pathfinder stove. You've got plenty of room to put that in the middle if you choose. And I've also got a remote gas stove with legs. Now the standard type without the legs, just the Trangia burner or Trangia style burner will fit in there. However, The remote burner would also fit, depending on which one you've got, and you can use this just as a windshield. So once this is set up and ready to go, the pot stand, which comes in a bag, looks like that. Now for me that is like the Achilles heel of this style of stove because it's got moving parts as in this could get lost I'd rather have something like this and all you have to do is flip these down 
flip these up. And the other thing is, it's a bit fiddly to get it to where you want it. But once he's in, there, I've never really got on with this. Once he's in, he is height adjustable. Ah, height adjustable. So you can adjust it to different levels. Um, why you'd want it that low, I've got no idea. But you can then adjust it, like so. The kind of downside with this is, once it gets hot, do you really want to be sticking your hands in there and adjusting the height? For me, the answer would be no, unless you can use a glove or something like that. But if you had a reason to do so, I guess the option's there. But it's a bit of a noise. So that is my biggest bugbear with this little system and setup. In use, you can see that this has got a much lower height to the windshield than what the Tranger has. So the Tranger covers more of the pot. Small pot. You can see the depth that it actually covers to keep the wind away. And on this one, this sits much higher and it's far more exposed. Obviously, you can move that down lower, but the middle one setting is probably about the right height to go. Now onto the frying pans. Trangier sits on top. This, however, sits inside. So I guess the disadvantage this has regarding the height of pots is kind of countered by the way it sits inside the windshield when you're using the frying pan. Unlike the Trangier, where you've got a small gap. So it's all swings and roundabouts. By the way, the lid also fits on top of the frying pan. Not perfectly, it kind of does. It's a few mil out. It's probably just the way it's been manufactured. You can force it on, but it sticks on. However, you can't do that with a Tranger because it's too small. Something to bear in mind. Additional bits. This comes with a chopping board as standard. So that's quite useful. With the Trangia, the particular set I bought had a kettle, which is rather useful. However, you could buy a kettle to go with one of those sets and packing it away it will actually fit into the pot. You may have to jiggle around the uh, pot stand bit to get in there, but it should be able to fit. The other item I purchased for the Trangia is this trivet, so I can put odd sized pots on there if I need to, because as you can see from there, you've got a great big hole. So that sits in and it's well made and you can put pretty much any pot you want on top of there that's non-standard obviously with this one the advantage of having this pot stand on there is you can pretty much put anything you want on there so there you have it they're pretty much identical in size main difference is just to recap the size of the frying pan and also the way they go together Fundamentally, they're pretty much the same. Thank you.
hope this has been useful to you. If you've got any questions or anything at all, really, just put something in the comments. If there's a question I can answer, I'll do my best. Don't forget, if you like it, if you don't, I don't think you can do one of those. <laughs> if you want to see more in the future, um, so i got a few things lined up, then uh, please feel free to subscribe. Catch you later.